What's up you guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about our new toy that we got. It's actually more than a toy. The cool thing about this is it's both a toy and a work vehicle, right? This is the Cub Cadet Challenger MX750 EPS. The EPS stands for Electronic Power Steering. Um, this UTV, you guys, is kind of like in a class of its own, something you don't see on the market. It's a cross between a, you know, high-end, off-roading, fun ATV and a work ATV, right? Why is it like that? Because it's made by Cub Cadet, and Cub Cadet knows that people that want to be on their property, on their land, want that. You know, you want to work, but yet you might want to just, you know, go have fun, hunt, go through the trails. You can also get this in camo. Um... And that's why they've designed this UTV. Now, a couple of the neat features on this UTV that you're not going to find on any other UTV are it includes a cab stock. Yes, that cab is stock and doors. Check these doors out, you guys. And these aren't just cheap plastic doors. They're metal filled. There's metal in there. So it's an actual integral part of the roll cage system when the door is closed, which means you don't need those huge bars that come out here, you know, that you always bang in your thigh or whatever. So you can have the door. The great thing about the door that we've noticed is obviously look at how dirty the seats are we had our dog in there and she was in the cab so she we take a corner you know she could lean up against that door and not fly out so that was huge to us too another feature about this utv is it's like a car it has more features it closely more resembles a car than a utv in my book right check it out look at the automotive style dash we have here right you have your uh center gauge cluster which is going to give you information like four wheel drive status uh what gear you're in whatnot rpm gauges automotive style gauges fuel and temperature and then we have a mode to go through all the odometers and stuff the switches are all waterproof look at this um we have our lights you know high low beams uh, fog lights rear lights turn signals yes these are factory options or, or factory like oem i mean i don't know if they're options they're not options they're just built in with it right it's not an option that's how it comes stock with the turn signals to me that's a huge situation okay why i've had a lot of utvs that had a mule 610 which we'll discuss the differences in a second but a lot of uh, uh places you're allowed to drive these things on the road right as long as you have turn signals on brake lights and stuff like that this has it automatically built in you don't need to go buy yourself some brake lights spend days wiring it only to worry that did this connection come loose did that this is all automotive style connections it's all stock um so we had the brake lights on the back we'll go to the front i'll show you guys the turn signals and the turn signals i love the way they just integrated this stuff right those are literally turn signals it even has daytime running lights so when you're running the daytime running lights a winch that winch is factory stock comes stock these uh two um skid plates down there protect your cv axles stock right the windshield is stock except for this windshield is the upgraded windshield it has the two vents on it the stock one does not have the two vents this is an option i put on it which was the uh lights up top right mirrors stock okay back to the interior look at all this space we have here you guys uh we have the two four-wheel drive selector winch in and out and we can lock and unlock the diffs uh for those of you that don't know what locking of the diffs is is basically all wheel you you only have one wheel spinning at one time right so when it takes a corner one spins faster than the other but sometimes when you're locked into a situation where you need to get out instead of having this wheel spin and that wheel spin you can lock all four so it's literally locked down like a tank right the bed holds 500 pounds it can tow 1100 pounds with a class one hitch and looking at the bed right away i know a lot of you guys are saying oh that bed's not gonna last it's plastic it's just plastic on the outside it actually has metal on the inside listen you hear that that's a sturdy tailgate if you guys were here touching that you would be like wow that's sturdy feeling inside we have a system where we can lay out uh they have uh accessories where you can you know compartmentalize it stake pockets that light right there is an option so at night if i'm loading the bed i could put it in there for the dump just a quick dump right here spring assisted boom not spring assisted but hydraulic assisted um so there's the motor right there you guys but right there look at those shocks look at those shocks with piggybacks so these shocks you guys is part of the fun part of this vehicle right look at that i don't know how well you can see it it's hard to get the camera up in there but these are piggyback reservoir shocks so it's going to give you that better ride we took this thing out in the cornfield it does 45 mile an hour we're at full speed just hitting everything and it was like riding on air it really was uh it's uh liquid cooled 
so you don't have to worry about air cooling stuff like that it's got its own radiator system on it um, let's close this up on the back too we have the skid plates also uh, these right here are optional these rock sliders you can get they have a ton of options you guys uh, you can also get little inserts that go in to completely enclose the cab if you'd like and you can put a heater in it which is cool we have an accessory port down there and look at this big glove compartment right here and then you have a place to put something there and there obviously i don't know if i put my phone here you hit a bump it might fall out cup holders in the center seat belts one thing about this vehicle you guys though you have to wear your seat belt if you don't wear your seat belt it won't go over like five mile an hour or something like that which is uh for safety purposes obviously also you're gonna want to wear a helmet um you know that's just my part of telling you the law i guess i don't know if it's a law but you definitely need to wear a helmet whenever you're doing a utv obviously 90 percent of you are not going to um, but you can get it in camo. We also have a storage compartment underneath here that we can throw some stuff in. But you guys, this is like the best of both worlds, right? It's the best for the property owner because you can get all your chores done. It holds just the amount as much as another UTV. You get all your chores done. And then when you're done for the day, you can take it hunting. You can take it on the trails. You can let the kids take it out. You know, when I say kids 18 plus, they can take it out. They can have fun with it, right? It's just a fun UTV. Now, price point. Let's talk about price point, right? Most UTVs now, especially with the racing style, with the piggybacks, you're looking at pushing 20 grand. I mean, 20 grand. This thing is mid to low teens, and it comes with all these options. I mean, you're not going to find another UTV that comes with turn signals, doors, and a cab for that kind of money. I don't even think any other UTV comes with that, to be honest with you. I don't know any. I've been re researching and looking. Um, and I don't know any other UTV that ha actually has the best of both worlds like this. You know, if you go to get a Kawasaki Mule, yeah, sure, it's going to get all your off-road work done and stuff like that. But when the fun part comes, it doesn't have those suspension. It doesn't have the speed, 45 mile an hour that this does, right? But then again, also, you know, you get a $25,000, $30,000 Can-Am, which obviously is going to spank this thing off-road. But this thing will keep up its own. But the can is not going to be able to haul 500 pounds around. It's not going to be able to have a cab. It's not going to, or it might, you can get a cab for it, but it won't be stock with a cab. It won't be stock with turn signals. This thing is the closest thing I've ever seen from a UTV to a car. And I really think that Cub Cadet did an awesome job on this vehicle, you guys. Um, I want you guys to comment below and let us know what you guys think. Obviously, this was designed with another company, or Cub Cadet designed it and worked with another company that makes UTVs. And, uh, you know, I did some research online about it and they actually make really reliable UTVs. And you have the Cub Cadet name to back it up, which is great. Uh, did I talk about the power steering? Let's talk about the power steering real fast. I just turned the ignition on because it's electric. Yeah, look at that. Look how easy it is to turn. That's the electric taking care of that. I mean, it just feels like it's just super easy. Pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy, guys. So that's it it's fun we got four wheel disc brakes on this thing i mean it's just it's a complete beast obviously i live on a golf course these are really aggressive tires i would put turf tires if i was going to work on the golf course here but we are taking this up to a cabin and uh for the cabin this thing is beautiful man it's perfect because we can load all the firewood get our chores done during the day then go on the street if need be have our turn signal set up so we're safer we're legal um and again that's certain states you guys don't quote me don't get one and start driving on your street down you know i-90 and think you're gonna you know there's always laws no matter where you're at but this thing is just uh mirrors comes with the mirrors i mean look at that everything that a vehicle a car has this has and it's just it's simple to drive you guys uh my girlfriend drives it she loves it she thinks it's fun she's getting it start it fuel injected you don't have to worry about carbs or letting it warm up or anything like that you just start it and go so that's it you guys we're gonna have a lot more videos on it unfortunately right now we're kind of in that uh situation where uh you know we're homebound for a little bit here so we're gonna take it out we're gonna have some fun we're gonna get it muddier i wanted to show it to you guys when it was brand new and clean but i had to take it in the mud right away it was fun i'm not gonna lie it was fun so um that's about it you guys uh let us know what you guys think at the bottom uh we'll put some stats and stuff like that i just want to know what you guys think and, and honestly 
you know, yeah, you guys that are like desert racers are gonna bash it and be like, oh, you know, my Can-Am does 100 miles an hour across sand, this and that. Okay, that's fine. This wasn't designed for that. This was just designed to fit that middle market where, you know, you got that worker, but yet that worker wants to have some fun. Uh, you know, you get all your property maintenance done. You, you know, this thing could even go on the job site. Granted, if you put it on the job site, the construction guys are probably gonna go out and have some crazy fun with it and destroy your job site, but, it can do it you know what i'm saying um so so far you guys we got about 20 miles on it uh and it's been fun it's been you know it's just a very cool vehicle we're gonna have it for quite a long time and uh, i'm gonna keep reporting on it and you're gonna see a lot of videos on it but uh i just want to know what you guys think at the bottom another thing i saw up here too see like right here these holes they have accessories that go so you can hold shovels across there you can hold rakes whatever you need to um and then like i said if you are a uh you know a company that wants to put use it for a golf course or something like that you can put turf tires on it and it will hold that and not only that you guys it plows yes it plows like crazy i don't know if i'm gonna put some b-roll in here but uh i don't know cni services our buddy christian he has a camo one with a plow and uh we'll put the link to follow him but he has you know i've talked to him a couple times he's like dude we beat the hell out of that thing and it just lasts and you know he's been doing some crazy snow and you know he's like 18 19 years old so you know he's not baby in it right me personally i like to baby things i like to change the oil i like to take care of things but i'm pretty sure he's just like start it go beat it <laughs> that's how he is so um that's it you guys let us know what you guys think and uh we'll have some more videos on it and uh just comment below what you guys want to see on this thing and we'll do it we'll shoot it peace remember for more exciting tool action go to toolsinaction.com